Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash the Nerd Core. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hello, nerds. You're listening to an episode on the Nerd Core podcast feed. If you're feeling generous, please consider pledging to a tier on our Patreon at patreon.com slash the Nerd Core. We have tiers as low as $1 per month. Thanks so much, and enjoy the episode. Hey everyone, before we can get into today's episode, I need to talk to you all about Anchor. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast and is the platform I've been using for over two years. Anchor is easy because it's free, includes creation tools on your tablet or phone from the get-go, rewards creators with sponsorships with no minimum listenership, and best of all, they distribute your podcast to places like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. So if you want to make a podcast, you should download the Anchor app or visit anchor.fm. Now let's get into today's episode. Hello, nerds. You're listening to an episode on the Nerdcore podcast feed. If you're feeling generous, please consider pledging to a tier on our Patreon at patreon.com slash the Nerdcore. We have tiers as low as $1 per month. Thanks so much, and enjoy the episode. Welcome back. You're listening to the Nerd Chicano Show, the only show hosted by two Latin lovers themselves. The first Latin lover is me, your host, the Nerd Chicano himself, Raul Alejandro Mendoza. And the other host is Mr. Luis Garcia, Luis Gerardo Garcia. Not Gerardo Ortiz, but Gerardo Garcia. Garcia. Saludos. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Luis? Nurse is cool, dog. That's all I can say. All yeah. I can say is my brain fucking fried. Yeah. You know what fried I can say? It. What's that? You know what I can say? I can what? say we appreciate all our Patreon supporters who are listening to this a day early. Because <laughs> you're listening to this a day early, you mean it means that you are a pledge from the one dollar and up tier. So thank you so much for listening and giving us your devotion. You're listening to this a day early because of yours. Talk about a segue, right? Yeah, that's yeah. from that's for the Patreon supporters. Yeah, besitos a los Patreon supporters. Besitos para mis supporters. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Oh, we got a nice. Oh, little, I, uh, ni- oh I'm sorry. I, we got a nice. How little, you been, buddy? How you been? Ah, uh, I've been. You been? I've been, bro. You, you going? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, look, man, we got a nice little episode today. We're just gonna talk about life and you know how our first week, our actual mm-hmm. first week of school, because. It's like my first week started this week, um, and uh, we'll talk about that and how weird it is to be on the last years of our education and stuff like that. We're just gonna have a nice little love, life, love, life update episode. For sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been all right, man. Been all right. Um, yeah, school, school's been school, man. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I mean, been a pretty good week, full of um, nice um, stuff. I got a free movie ticket from a friend. Yeah. From a friend in a, my media production class. So tomorrow in the morning, I'm gonna go watch Glass. Uh huh. Yeah. So why? Why? Why did she? Why did he or she give you a free ticket? Uh, he gave it to me because his name is actually Luis Garcia too. So nah. <laughs> it was like if the Lord was like, "Damn, he wants you to." He, he Luis is vicariously giving you a chance to go watch Glass. My oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he he was, must be handsome too. Yeah, yeah. He he must be some handsome ass motherfucker to have that kind of name. Yeah, well, I mean, it's yeah. all a media production class filled with like men and women that love uh, movies and want to make movies. So beautiful people, beautiful people. Yeah. Um, yeah. He was like, um, I have a I have three refund tickets because of the AMC Stubbs thing. He's like, so I uh, cancel my. I think he said he canceled his membership, so he had three leftover tickets that he could use. And he was like, anybody want one? And I'm like, press it on over here, brother. So I got it, and I said, "I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna go watch me glass tomorrow, bro." Yeah, um, I heard the movie sucks though. Uh, Ashley told me that too. Yeah, she watched it. She goes, first two acts really freaking good, and it shits the bed in the third." I'm like, "Oh, that's M Night. That's M yeah. Night for you." Yeah, he either gets it right or he fucks it up. You know, <laughs> I like the other one, the split, the one with the. McAvoy? James McAvoy. Yeah, uh, I forgot what the name of that one was, but Split. that movie was pretty Split. Okay, that one. Yeah, Split. I, I love Split. Yeah, that one was a good one, dude. Yeah, like, it throughout was. the whole movie and shit. But we'll see. I'll go see what's up. Um, 
Yeah. I'm going in with no expectations. You know, I, I took, I listened to what Ashley said, and I've been listening to what everybody else has been saying, but I'm going to go in with my own expectations. I want to see what this movie is all about. Uh, we're going to review it next week, so, on, on the Nerdcore, so we have to watch, I have to watch it, so. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool that I got a free movie ticket. I thought that was really cool. Um... Uh, also, my tia hit me up with uh, two dozen uh, tamales, so you know that's just Jesus great. Christ. Yeah, sir. That's, that's a fucking massacre of tamales. Yeah, I'm about to eat some right now, bro. Yeah. God dog it. God dog Yo, it. Yo, I'm really in the mood for some of that, mm-hmm. some of that tamales action. Yeah, bro. I, I I I didn't get enough of it on the holiday, so yeah. I'm I'm in a deficit right now. Yeah. Tamale deficit. Oh. Tamal it's tamale season is all the time, right, bro? It's a it's it's one of those year round things, but some people like think it's just like a winter thing but it's like fuck it i eat tamales in summertime yeah 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 but like look tamales honestly for me is year round Mm. but menudo menudo and pozole should only be eaten in the winter or when you get really wasted yeah when you get really wasted but and you gotta go get you know recover and shit yeah yeah Yeah. i i don't like menudo or or pozole brad really likes menudo though and i'm like what the fuck (laughs) Man, it was, it's something else. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a good it's a good stuff. I like it. Yeah, look, it's like um, what's it called? Um, it's just it's the it's the texture. To be honest, with you. like, yeah, it, it just doesn't feel go right going down my throat. And I bet somebody can clip that out and just make like a little sound bite if they want. But um, yeah, it just doesn't feel right going down my throat. Yo, off topic though. Can I say something? Yeah, your haircut. Oh yeah, man. fire! Three, ep- fire, two episodes dude. since since I've had this haircut, and you finally decided to point it out on episode. Fire, dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good haircut. It makes yeah. you look like a, you know, like a, yeah. like a man. You know, I mean, that's, the hair's already haircut. starting to grow back, bro. The top mostly, the sides, you know, they're kind of kicking in there. But that's just me having hair that grows back really fast. So, but, but you gotta maintain it, dude. Yeah, what's it called? Um, I, I told them that I'll go back to him when I come back on spring break, but um. Yeah, I mean, hey, that barber's fucking awesome, dude. We got our nerd talk on all th- all three people in there, like, you know. Yeah, I, good guy, good guy. Yeah, I, I go in there. I don't expect them to be fucking nerds, bro. I'm like, oh, these guys look hard as shit. Like, there's some tough ass motherfuckers, and then I then they bring up the movies and the nerd talk. I'm like, oh yeah, y'all motherfuckers are just as big as nerds that I am. Yo, dude, the, those guys are all our age, dude. Really? The, those guys, yeah, they're our age. Uh, I yeah, actually, tell. actually, the 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 not the guy that the the uh that faded you he he's he uh um, yeah he looks like a good 30 something bro yeah he he's older but the rest of the guys they're um or, one of them's like 21 the other one's 22 or 23 i think so they're, they're around our age yeah. dude i actually think i might the guy next to him that was on I, it was after you left another yeah. guy was there doing the hair i think that guy's got to be like around 29 or 30 because he looked older uh but the guy who faded me yeah 100 percent. he has to be like 30 something but the other ones, yeah, yeah. like young ones. I, I saw, I could tell. And yeah, I said, dude. It, and and what I like about that shop, like too, that like I guess kept me going or whatever, was like that, like you said, they look hard as stuff, right? Like they look shit, hard dude. and they look like like you know. Yeah. Uh, but then you talk to them and they're all, you know, fucking nerds. Comic, yeah. yeah, they're they're comic book good needs uh nerds too, yeah. and and yeah. I don't know, they're pretty cool, and they know how to fade, so fuck it. Yeah. Hey, I mean, that's what makes it fun. Like, you don't want to just be sitting there for, like, the whole 45 minutes you're getting the haircut and not talk about something. I was like, I told, he was like, man, he goes, you didn't expect us to like this stuff? I'm like, not not really, man. But I also don't want to, like, talk the whole time because I don't want to distract you, bro. You know, you're the one who's, you, I have, your my head is in your hands. <laughs> actually, actually, it's better for when you talk to barbers yeah. because it gives them also something to do and doesn't make it awkward and shit. Yeah. So, something I learned. Yeah. Well, next time I got a lot of topics to bring into hand, you know. We got a lot of yeah. stuff, yeah. So you, yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, it was the first time I had gotten back to the barber since I want to be say, thirteen. Yeah. Because the guy who we went to last that was a barber, he mm. developed diabetes, and my mom was like, "Oh hell no, not anymore." <laughs> so fuck, he started why? losing his eyesight, and his hand would like oh, shake okay, a lot. Okay, okay. I was like, "The fuck does that have to do with yeah, his well, ability to hair?" Yeah, no, like, it, and his hand would tremble a lot, bro. So like, yeah, yeah. You, my mom was like, uh, "I'm good." <laughs> I'm good, cuz. Yeah, Let but that was it. like when we were 13 or some shit. And then you and switched then, over to yeah to, to beauty that, salon. Then. Well, that lady just who she was cutting my hair. That's a beauty salon. 
I don't. She doesn't take any other clients, just except for us. That's a beauty salon. <laughs> Whatever. I just look at it as going to the house of a friend of my mom's and getting a fucking haircut. That's a beauty salon. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, your room's a fucking mess, dog. You yeah. need to fucking straighten that shit out. Bro, I've been doing laundry you, all day. Why is your bed not made? First of That's all. That's what I want to fucking know. First of all, I had to go get my books. And after so? that, I came to I came to tidy up the, the room sweep. Mm-hmm. Did my laundry, okay. folded my laundry, put my laundry away. I still have a little bit of laundry to do. I got all my shirts in my in my um in my jackets, but I was about to. But when I messaged you is when I just finished. So every every what do you do your laundry and shit like that? Um, every week end. Okay. Kind of this time I kind of put it off for a little bit more because yeah. I barely had moving back in and stuff. So mm. yeah, I could yeah I could tell it was a lot of laundry because I mean it was my fucking thing was full up. I'm like oh fuck man. But yeah, what, uh, do you shit your your pants all the time, or what, how much clothes do you can you get? Well, what's it called? I I wear my pants something like two or three times, bro. Yeah, I mean, okay. So yeah. I think I only had like, I don't think I had like two pants that I mm, actually three because one of them I was using it last last week and I and I yeah. kind of stopped using it so I forgot to to wash it, and uh-huh. then the other two I used it all week. It was my black pants and my uh, blue jeans. Yeah, you know, you know, jeans aren't supposed to be washed as frequently frequently as you think. Yeah, like they're supposed like in order to preserve the color, the jean, uh, you know, the the raw material of it. Yeah, you're not supposed to wash them that much, so you have to kind of be clean around them. Well, I mean, at least I am because, I mean, uh, I guess like you know, the jeans will get like faded and shit, yeah. and they'll start looking nasty. And that's true. You usually, get them washed too much. Usually, the color with the American Eagle jeans, though. Um, I mean, I've had those for a while, and they they haven't faded for a, a little bit. So, uh, either like the the material is just really really good, uh-huh. or I'm just blind as a bat and I can't tell if it's faded. But I mean, I, yo yo, I fuck with American Eagle jeans. Dude. Oh yeah, those they're are, so comfortable. Those are fucking dope. Like it's, another alternative too is is Levi's, but yeah, dude, Levi's are so expensive, dude. Yeah, I, I like know, the it's ridiculous. I like the extreme flex on the American Eagle jeans. So you know, it's kind of like flexy so it doesn't feel all that uncomfortable yeah it doesn't feel like i'm literally wearing carpet <laughs> yeah 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 it also makes your ass look good so you know i got that going that's for me. true that's true mm-hmm. for the for the ladies uh-huh. no yeah, not for ladies. me bro for me no but like okay sure, for yeah, yourself. Yeah, sure. Yeah. i said it makes your ass look good my ass bro so i said that i know i, I said like, for the ladies look man we ain't talking about ladies bro i was talking about me okay can't damn, can't Jesus, say yeah, man. yeah, Raul, your so ass does. Today. Yeah, you, you couldn't say yeah, Raul, your ass does look good on them jeans. Do your ass does look good, but damn, dude, like I'm, I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared, yeah. shit, man. But yeah, that's basically all this week, dude. Um, I watched the Upside. I uh, really liked it. Uh, not as much as the original French movie, but I thought it was fine. Those are the roles that I really want to see Kevin Hart do instead of like you know the over comedic shit that he does. But, uh, True. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really like that movie. Made me feel good inside. All right. Um, so, what have you been doing this week? <sighs> I'm trying to plug in my mic. Just give me a quick. Why is your voice? Uh, I'm sorry. What's this called? The things that go around your head. The, I don't know, but uh, your voice is my. Like... No, the headphones. There we go. Yeah. Yo, fuck the headphones, dude. Whatever. Um, my week's been going pretty good. I uh, started nursing school. Yeah. Was... Hold on, Luis. Your voice sounds really deep now. Hello? No, it's like it's like, it's like really deep. Is it? It, ch- it changed, bro. <laughs> Yo, what happened? I don't know, dude. Maybe that's my voice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to fix it. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck just happened. You're, you're what? What? Hello? Can you hear me? Speak normally? <laughs> this is me speaking normally. Yeah, your voice sounds way too deep. It's like well, abnormal. Maybe that's my real voice. No, it's not. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, dog. Maybe it's my real voice. No, it's not, because that's definitely... You know what you sound like? Like in those documentaries when they have anonymous people and they don't want to <laughs> show the real voice? I'm not too sure what's going on then. Yeah, on. you sound like a... 
Yeah, so I didn't really want to say I did it, but... Maybe lock them doors and turn the lights <laughs> down low. Can you tell us where you hit the bodies, where, Luis? <laughs> oh, fucking <you>, shit. <laughs> yeah, this is what you oh, literally sound yeah. like, dude. You know, I, I used to be an ex-convict. I uh, sold marijuana. <laughs> You know, what, you know what? I'm not too sure what happened with my... Uh, you want to just continue it like this? <laughs> fuck it. I mean, like, I have no shame. It makes a, it makes Wait. for a good bit. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah. So I started my uh, nursing thing, and uh, <laughs> I'm hearing myself through the fucking <laughs> headphones. It's fucking weird, but, you know, okay, whatever. It's fucking great. So I started nursing school, right? And, uh, dude, that shit's, like, really fucking hard. Like it's it's a different approach to what I usually have had. Um, I guess you can say. I don't know, cause like whenever I would study or whatever, mm-hmm. it was more like, oh, I'm just gonna memorize the entire fucking book and and I'll get a fucking hundred and like that's pretty much how I fucking did it. Like yeah. throughout my high school, elementary, middle school, even college. That's what I did. I just fucking memorize everything and I would get good grades and shit. But this was more like you got to memorize everything, but you it's all like there's a specific world. It's called like critical thinking. It's like you got to make sure that, you know, yes, this is the correct way to do it. But is it the most ethical way? Is it the, the yeah. correct way? Is this the correct way to speak with this person with this cultural background and et cetera? And, so, mm-hmm. and you have to be mindful of a lot, a lot, a lot of things that like you wouldn't even you wouldn't even expect and you're just like oh okay so i have to know the science of it of medicine but also the social aspect of Mm -hmm. speaking to people and i guess like just it's just in general it's it's really really it's a really like weird and 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 unique experience but i took my first exam and i got a 90 which is pretty cool shit man first week you already have an exam I, yeah actually i learned the thing that day and then the following day i had an exam but not a quiz not a te- like an exam an, act- an actual exam and i got an id so that was pretty cool but i had to study for about five to six hours because I mean, that was yeah yeah and right now today i i did another um i did another three hours uh studying sesh uh which wasn't a lot it, it's not a lot actually but I need to do some more studying. I might do that after the podcast, but mm-hmm. um, it's a lot, a lot of studying. Like mm-hmm. it's, you know, I guess like my social skills are helping me, right? Yeah. Like my, my ability to like, I don't know, to do those things, but, but man, it's a lot of studying, dude, but it, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Like I said, no time for girls. It's 2019 guys. No time for girls until 2020. <laughs> I made that, I made that a goal. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shut the stick anymore. Just gonna focus on school. Yeah, I think it's working out. Everything at its own pace, brother. That's really what I say. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And um, uh, no, because it's interesting. Like it's an interesting class mm-hmm. classes. And I'm gonna. Be, I'm actually getting another test next week as well. Like it's yeah. tests. It's 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 exams every fucking week. Yeah. And like skills tests. So you have to like learn how to do like a specific thing like it comes down to even like washing your hands gloving um and then it'll get more complicated right how yeah. to start an iv how to do this how to do that right and and but it, like right now i'm barely starting and it's like shit it's a lot of fucking work it's yeah. a lot, a lot of work yeah dude but like another thing that like i guess made me realize or or lucky or blessed or whatever uh, i feel whatever is that i noticed it's like the class i was in it's only 17 people yeah remember you told me from the 20 and, people that applied only two got in you were one of them yeah dude and uh and it's weird dude because it's like you, you realize like shit and and they told us like in the first day they're like you guys are the best are the best i mean you guys got here for a reason you guys all mm-hmm. showed you know the characteristics and the grades and the knowledge that you're able to do this and that and yes, we're going to have some people that fail out of the, of the course and everything, but uh, we expect the majority of you, if not 100% of you guys, to complete and get certified by the Texas Board of Nursing, which I was like, fuck. And then that's when it got real. And I was like, shit. And, and what was, um, I guess, like also realizing is that I wasn't the smartest person in the group. 
you know because like i guess usually I, I'll, I like to think of myself as like the smartest person there yeah. but i would say i'm not at the lower level nor i'm in the middle i'm like towards the top but like i'm definitely not the top yeah. because there was people that got 100 in the exam and i was like fuck how did they get fucking get 100 <laughs> to be fair though to be fair though most of the people that are there you know are either already cmas or mas yeah. or whatever the fuck like they already have some sort of like nursing background and stuff like that but i but i don't so i give myself credit in that aspect i'm like fuck you guys fuck i'm gonna you. kick your fucking ass <laughs> yeah mom, i mean it's, it, it, it's you know kind of a way to be um telling yourself that you know you were the one of the two who who applied all right sorry technical difficulties but um we're we're back, we're back. Yeah, I was gonna say that and Skynet is taking over. Skynet I'm fucking is... telling you this right fucking now. <laughs> Skynet, because he sounds like Arnold. <laughs> Sky text is taking over my voice. Yeah. It's gonna be really funny to listen to this back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hey, it's it's gotta show you that if you were one of two people that were chosen from that one pool that, that you remember that you were applying it's got to say something, man. Like, they obviously saw something in you, and that um, you got to take the opportunity as it goes, man. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, but, you know, having fun and shit. And yeah. also, you know, just, I'm here for the for the fucking experience. And honestly, dude, I just want to be the fucking best. Like, honestly, like, I, it's just, I, I literally, like, and not in a fucking egotistic way. I just, I just want to be the best so that I can have the best care and I can be the best yeah. at what I do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want I want to stand out too. Like, yeah, I feel like that's one of my goals. It's I want to establish myself as one of the best, if not the best. Yeah. You know, I want people to say, you know what, class of twenty nineteen, remember this guy? Yeah, this fucking guy right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he fucking became governor of Texas. Oh, but shit. that's a difference. <laughs> but that's some that's later on in the thing. We won't discuss that right now. Like my political <laughs> views and shit. Yo, just fuck Trump. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, don't be kidding, bro. Fuck Trump. Yeah. Yo, fuck Trump. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I, well, yeah. I mean, I like what you're saying, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's really the thing when a lot, because this whole environment of, you know, college and university, like, it's it's competitive as shit, man. Like, we're all competing within each other. And, you know, there's also networking that you have to do to be, get into. I, we do the networking on this show, too. You know, we got to mm-hmm. network with other people to get them on the show and then we get to be on their shows and we get to basically build each other up so we can become successful there's also the competition though you know have to make good content or whether people in university have to make good grades and stuff it's it, it's a it's it's something man but my my classes are probably not as hard as yours um but i am taking interesting stuff uh taking a hitchcock class uh my, my media production class my communication laws and ethics uh, I need that one for like credit, uh, and I'm also taking my uh, Latin American Urban Communities class. And what the fuck is going on, man? Hold on. It stop recording again. Yeah. Okay. Now it's actually showing. Okay. Yeah. I was uh, sorry, guys. I keep cutting in and out because um, I was it wasn't showing on the bottom bars that I was actually recording something. So yeah, last thing I was saying is that I'm, like my, my Latin American uh, Mexican American Urban Communities. Pretty cool. We that one's gonna take a lot of work, but you know it's something I'm interested in for my minor on Mexican American studies. Um, the only thing that's funny is that um, she wants us to um, make a. We're gonna go tour a barrio, a barrio, and okay. write a paper on it. I kind of just want to go next week in class and tell her, "Ma'am, I don't really want to go because I lived in a barrio for twenty freaking years." Wait, did she want to go to a Houston barrio? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. After living in one, Luis, are we gonna see some yeah. interesting stuff? Yeah, no. Like even like the fucking poorest yeah. barrios of Houston's are still richer than the ones in Brazil, man. What the oh fuck? well, of course, yeah. I was like, okay. ma'am, I could write you like yep. a five-page paper on the Samos if you want. Yeah, I think Cameron Park's worse though. Oh, I don't, oh, don't want to be a hater, but I think I think Cameron Park's fucking yeah. worse than Sophomore. Hey. I mean, I can I can walk outside and not be afraid to get shot. Or maybe yeah. just because I live here, and yeah. I look Mexican as fuck. And yeah. I but then again, you know where we we've come to understand the ins and outs of where we're from. True. Yeah. So like, obviously, I would I I don't know how to manage the ins and out here in Houston. But if I were to go back to Bronzo, I'm like, oh yeah, I know. Like, 
I know where to be at and where not to be at. I know if I'm in said area, I know what time that I shouldn't be there and what time I should be, you know? Yeah, did, did I ever tell you that story about me going to, uh, like, the hood? But, like, the hood. Like, stereotypical in the movies hood. Oh. When I went to Austin with me, Victor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me. You told me that there was a lot of shady shit going on. And you were like, bro, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> bro. So let me let me tell let me tell the people real quick. It's, I'll make it short. Yeah. But uh, so we were in we were in Austin. We were visiting a, a, a friend over there, and uh, me and a buddy of mine, Victor, uh, went uh, and we parked in one of the one of the spots that we thought was public parking, but it wasn't. Um, so one of the so we went to the thing and whatever, and we woke up and we didn't see the car there, and we're like, "Fuck! I think we got towed." So we're like, what the fuck are we going to do? Like, are we going to have to like go there and shit like that? And my friend Victor, he was fucking upset. He was like, okay, dude, like, I'm so pissed off. Like, I got to pay money to do this and do that and do this. And he's like, I'm like, all right, dude, like, we'll go pick it up. And I'll like, we'll fucking figure it out or whatever. He's like, yeah, man, let's fucking pick it up. And I'm like, and he's like, oh, where is it? He's like, oh, it's only five miles away. Let's just fucking walk. Longest and five like, miles and away. I'm <laughs> five miles away, which is. Five miles is, is fucking nothing. Honestly, honestly, it's it's pretty much nothing. Um, but I was like, no, plus, I mean, I guess we can go. Like, that's not a problem unless you want to get a fucking Uber. I mean, we can just fucking pay. I mean, I'll pay it like yeah. the 10, 15 bucks that it takes to yeah. drive to the fucking towing shit. He's like, no, nah, man. And then he was just upset and he and went out running. And when we we're uh, walking, um, I guess it was all normal. And we're like, OK, it's just like a normal yeah. street. And. Cause we went, we were in a fairly good neighborhood or whatever, yeah. but we we're walk, like I said, we're walking five miles, which I guess we didn't like really guesstimate in our minds mm-hmm. that we have to walk through five miles of whatever the fuck terrain that we're gonna go through. Yeah. And we went yeah. to this dude, the hood. Yeah. I'm talking about Ice Cube's Friday hood, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah. fucking cars with the little rim shit but like the thing poking out and crap yeah like the little spinner shit it's exactly what you it. see in the movies dude dude well, i don't know why i'm asking uh, the questions he's told me this like story like yo, 5, times. yo dude i shit my fucking pants dude i was like fuck no dude fucking mistake i fucking hate yeah. you dude fuck you dude fucking victor had uh i'm not too sure if it was like a hoodie well, or a shirt i don't remember but it was like a jordan one yeah and i was like dude take that shit off i'm not down to get shot right now yeah. fucking take that shit off give yeah. it to me and carry it in your hands don't fucking don't fucking put it on they're gonna fucking stop you and they're gonna fucking kick your ass and and i'm just gonna let them kick your ass because i'm not fucking <laughs> I'm, gonna let kick your ass. I'm gonna run out <laughs> yeah and uh do we walk through it and we made it right but yeah, like yeah. dude we were shitting fucking breaks there was yeah. fucking dogs loose like like big dogs like fuck pit dogs. bulls on the fucking yard well, not fuck dogs shit. just fuck the scary looking ones that i think are gonna eat my ass yeah and and then was well, we eventually got to the towing thing but yeah. we went through some fucking hills and shit we went through like because it's hill country creek. over there yeah yeah i mean but we went through the hood the country like we went through a lot of places before we got yeah. to the fucking towing place biggest mistake ever just guys more of the story just pay the uber, uber. Just pay just get it over, guys. Let's just pay for the fucking $10, 15 dollar one. Yeah, because like honestly, it, man, like, it, like walking five miles through places you don't know that you're probably unsafe in that you feel unsafe in. Come on, man. Just I, I guess I guess we thought it was gonna be towards like the good part of Austin, you know, towards downtown Austin, but mm-hmm. nah, man, we went to nah. Jesus yeah. fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. some pretty bad neighborhoods, dude. Yeah, so like but anyway, it, that was like a little moral of the story, yeah. More the story. Most, Pay for the fucking story, just, Uber. Just get a fucking Uber, guys. Come just on. Get a fucking Uber, guys. It's it's, not, it's really not that difficult to get an Uber. Yeah. Just pay and, the pay uh, 10, 15 uh, bucks, man. Yeah. So and how's also- your Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I keep, I keep asking you every week because I yeah. want to see what the fuck's going on with your Tinder. Whether yeah. you still have it active or it's, not. It's, it's terrible, bro. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's dry. It's dry as shit, man. No yeah. fishes are being... Look, man, it's in. it's... It has basically, like you know. Did you did you change it to? Your yeah, yeah. To, I'm to opening a spicy you, one. You, look, man. It's basically this whole Tinder experience has shown me something. What's up? Is that fifteen year old Raúl probably would have pulled something here because he was more okay. into the internet and stuff. Twenty one right. year old, 
I'm just down to meet people in person instead. I, I, I don't like to use the internet to do that stuff. It's just not my role. You know, if, if I'm able to meet someone here and, and become a friend, I'm not saying like, you know, Brad, Ashley and all those people like, yeah, I, I made them because of the internet and, um, mm. I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm happy because they're really good friendships that I have. And, um, mm. but like, if I know I can meet someone on in here in, in campus and in Houston, then I'm just right. going to do that instead. Cause this fa the face to face conversations are, I feel more easier for me to read than online. That that's true. Yeah. That's true. I think you have that that about you that you're yeah. able to. I'm able to read people in person. Yeah, in yeah. person. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, over the internet, something. Yeah. Something. Yeah, it's it's hard. That's yeah. hard. That's like skill, dude. Yeah. If you're able to push some fucking DMing and shit. Yeah, I through through DMing, dude. That shit's fucking hard, dude. I yeah. don't know how fucking people do that shit. Like that's hard. I mean, talking to people in real life, that's different. That's it's yeah. it's it's hard, but it's not that hard. I, I, I because actually, you can read you can read whether they're comfortable with yeah. something you said or not and then you yeah. can either retract or continue and then yeah. that, that just works and you can read them off what whatever you see but yeah. but in the internet it's like or texting or whatever because the internet you do. the the whole online thing the whole you know phone shit you can't read connotation there is no, no. way to understand connotation no and then you don't send an emoji or a lol and or everybody an thinks LMAO. it's like yeah they're like they're oh, like what's they're... wrong and you're just like um uh, nothing. i don't know like, like i just don't want to use an emoji i don't nothing. think i like, need to use an emoji. i didn't want to fucking put lol on something that didn't need lol yeah <laughs> yeah it's like I, I don't know it's it's like if you go through my phone the only yeah. people i constantly text are the what's it called you when we need to do podcasts thanks what's Dad. it called my brothers in the group chat when we like check up on each other mm. Mm, i call my mom i rather listen to my mom's voice or my dad's voice than having to text them i think it's just better that way um and that's it god bless you yeah on my messenger group chats that i'm in probably put something here and there um but like private messages probably like one or two people that i that i know on the internet and i just want to keep in contact for a little bit Twi on twitter brad um, Ashley, oh, I forgot. Ashley's on text. Yeah, text. I, I text Ashley. Um, on Twitter, that's Brad. Constantly talking to Brad. I talk to nobody on, on Instagram, DMs. On the WhatsApp, is just the chat. And my friend from Matamoros from my semester in, uh, in, in UTRGB, that's who I talk to on WhatsApp, and that's it. I'm, it's not like Eric who, like, jingles his Snapchat people that he talks to, friends. And on Messenger, he has other people talking to. And on Twitter, he has DMs from other people. I'm like, no, I just can't do it, bro. It like overwhelms me, dude. I think you have more than me, dude. Really? I just text my mom. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't text my mom. I I pretty much call my mom. Yeah, I, I, I don't like to. I have, I, I, have, yeah. I have a few group chats, but to be honest, I kind of just put them on silent. Me too. I put them on silent, I, but I I just, I just don't like my phone ringing too much. Yeah. Especially when I'm in school or working or whatever the fuck. Like. Yeah. My mom. And I'm really bad at texting back. Like yeah. really, really horrible at texting back. Yeah. Has your mom uh, called you in class yet? She. My mom already did it. Like, yeah, literally my dad first week. Me. My dad called me actually. Yeah, I'm class. like, and it, hit and it sucks because I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I just, you know, I see it and I'm like, okay, cool, silence. And I'm like, I'll get get to it after class because I'm not going to be the dude who gets up just to go answer the call. I'm like, no, nah, that ain't cool. My, I would go do it to use the restroom, but I'm not going to do that to just answer the call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then sometimes I'll forget to text them back. They'll be like, what happened? I'll be like, oh, sorry. Shit, yeah. Class, <laughs> sorry, LMAO. <laughs> Yeah, the funny thing is my mom will always be so just give me your schedule so I can know when to call you. I'm like, even if I give you the schedule, you're still gonna call. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I told I told my dad. He, he fucking told me this morning. I think it was this morning too. Yeah. I'm putting on my scrubs, right? Because I'm I had yeah. to put on scrubs or whatever. Looking good in scrubs too, man. Thanks, buddy. Um, anyways, I'm putting on my scrubs and my dad tells me, Oh, you're going to work, right? I'm like, <laughs> Dad, I have my scrubs on. Like I'm going to school like he's like yeah but you're going but then you're going to work right i'm like dad i told you like five times that i don't work during the weekdays <laughs> like dad, i told my literally i told my dad like i don't know how many times i'm like dude i'm not gonna be working anymore yeah like i'm just gonna work on the weekends like so i can focus in school whatever yeah and I, and i keep telling him to and he's like and he'll call me on the phone and i'll be like ¿Cómo estás, mijo? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't know how many times. You don't know how many times I have to correct my mom and dad and tell them that I'm not doing photography as a major and I'm not doing producing as a major. I am going for film director. 
And they're always like, oh, yeah, ¿quieres ser productor? Like, no. Oh, ¿quieres ser uh, fotógrafo? Like, no. That's not what I'm going for. Do you, that was never your major, though. <laughs> never. Neither of those two was ever my major. I, I'm glad that they're, they're not saying that I'm going for engineering because that's long and gone. But, yeah. Yeah, but with, yeah, because you were engineering your first year in, yeah, te in yeah. uh, Texas and, Tech. but <laughs> er, They don't get Eric's wrong. It's like, oh, yeah, he's going for acting. That's the easiest one. But with me, they pull out photographer or producer, <laughs> film producer. Like, hell no, I don't want to be a producer. I want to be a fucking director. Oh, man. You, huge difference mom yeah yeah they're very big difference i've had to explain to her and even then she still goes oh yeah mi hijo va pa productor i'm like no no <laughs> like the director mom and i don't even want to say minor in mexican american studies because then she's gonna say oh he's majoring in mexican american studies <laughs> yeah they'll confuse that yeah yeah but yeah man that's the thing it's the whole the whole phone in class that's always like oh man you got, you got like damn I, I don't mind it like ring like i don't mind it vibrating like text because mm. on iphone it's like i think the first three notifications and then it just goes like silent after so i'm like okay cool but with the phone call i keep hearing it like rrr, rrr, rrr. i'm like ah oh, damn it i got a silent i'm like okay cool but um yeah dude uh so i i do prefer um human interaction more than uh, online that's that's true it's yeah. it's a better experience. Yeah, for me at least. Some of y'all who can actually do it, like, oh, cool thing, man. Y'all can talk to people twenty four seven online. I I I can't. I fucking cycles. And, and yeah, guys, and I'm sorry. You guys like, are fucking cycles. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Like, if if you text me and I respond really late or I just don't respond, it's not that I don't want to talk to you. I just don't look at my messages. Like, literally, make it a thing where like I don't look at my messages. I don't. Like I'll say, oh, I'll respond later, and then I'll just completely forget. Yo, also, dude. Yeah. If you text more than one emoji in oh, one yeah, fucking no. text sentence, yeah. yeah yo, no. I'm fucking blocking you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not fucking dealing with that kitty shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, Especially just, the like, way you sound right now. They'll be like, hey, shit. how's it going? <laughs> Smiley face. I hope it's or I don't know what the fuck. And they'll put some something, something else, and then they'll put another emoji. And then another one in the same fucking text box. I'm yeah. like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Trash blocked. Excuse me. Thank you. Next. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yo, that's amazing. No. And especially the way you sound right now. That was amazing to hear you say. <laughs> fucking blocked. Dude. Get the Man, fuck out of here. No, I, I just. I, yeah. Like the emoji thing. Like, oh, if they put it, I'm like, oh, might as well put it because it's going to be weird that I don't send an emoji. I'm going to look like I'm mad or something. But uh, I don't use emojis. I just send them the eggplant. Oh my emoji, God, yeah. Like, you want to play games? I'll fucking play games. Eggplant, yeah, or the peach one. Or yeah, yeah. It's or weird. The, or the drip, or the drip one. Yeah, it's weird how all like we've literally created like, how emojis have been created to mean these secret things. I'm like, damn, dude. Like, I just want to put an eggplant just to put an eggplant because I like no, who eggplant. Who who invented the emoji? Was it Apple? Yeah. Like, it was apple. apple right like they uh, are the ones that said emojis are a thing and well, then they made them emoticons have been a thing since like aim where you would put the the smiley face you know like the what's it called the the, the two dots and then the curve you would do that and it would like convert to a smiley face but like but like emojis, an actual animated smiley face like an actual animated emoji yeah. i mean emo not i'm using emoji emoji con emoticons like, yeah yeah, okay. those I were. Thought, I thought Apple had invented it. Well, like the actual text base, where like you can put like an actually nice looking animated one. I guess it was Apple first, or yeah, it was kind of Apple first. But like I'm saying, like where an actual little emoticon would come out. Those have been alive since like 2000 something with AIM and uh, and all that. AIM. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And okay, I know because I had a name. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Probably, well, no, I already said I was 21, but yeah, no, I had AIM during those years when it wasn't cool, but yeah. Um, Yo, I, I didn't get my social media until, yeah. I think until I was like 17 or something, yeah. so I was pretty late to the game. Yeah, I had AIM, and then I had Yahoo Chat, usually talk with my cousins, Monterrey, mm. and then... My, my, parents, my parents never let me get social media. Yeah. Because they didn't want it was in that phase where you know how like social media had barely started yeah. through MySpace. And Everybody shit, thought and... that you were talking to pedophiles and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my parents are like, "Fuck no! Like you're not, 
you're not yeah. going to talk to these people, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And and so that's why I didn't get my phone until I was like 16. I literally didn't get a phone um, until I was 16 years yeah. old, which is, which to a lot of people is going to be like, oh, well, that's not that bad and shit. You know, yeah. we didn't. But it's like phones had already been a thing since like yeah. I was like in fifth grade. Yeah. So yeah. like I, I was pretty, that. pretty late to the game. Like everyone had like a like a razor phone or chocolate like they had something or whatever and I, yeah. I i didn't even know what the fuck i don't even know how to fucking text i yeah. think i would use my mom's phone to text people like yeah. oh this is Luis, and then delete the message box <laughs> whatever yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. and then i and then i would put uh don't text me back i'm already gonna get back to my mom Bleep, and then fucking yeah. delete the conversation yeah yeah what's he called um yeah so i got i had that and then i had myspace in sixth grade and um did you have a did you have a uh fucking uh, what's it called the song like a song yeah i had a song i think i had like um what was the song i think it was something from metallica i don't remember too well but um, can you sing it no i i i don't remember which metallica song it was but it was something from metallica um what what was unique about myspace that oh just like you can say i could like i had my i had my like profile custom like with a backdrop of metallica um, I had like my top my top friends that I had there. Like, are had... you a big Metallica person? Back then I was. Now I just like my music is literally all over the place. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, back then I was like really into metal and stuff like that. I I kind of am, still am. It's just that it's like select bands now that I choose to follow. But um, like the Jonas Brothers. No dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah. So I just had it like you know custom where I had like all this cool stuff and then. The what's it called? The messages like I, you you were able to do uh, I am instant messaging. So it's like, you know, it was kind of like what not like what me- messenger is right now. It was just going to the MySpace uh, website. You go to messages and you can just instant message like that, like that. So it, it did was. Did you have Did you have Tom as your friend? Yeah, everybody has Tom as your friend. Yeah, Everyone. Yeah, yeah, everybody had Tom. Do, do you still have access to your MySpace account, or is that like a deleted thing? You know what? How about we just find out right now, dude. How about that? Yeah, how about we do this, man? Let's see. MySpace.com, right? That's what it's called. My yeah, this will be the last thing we do before we say goodbye, guys. Let's see. It looks modern, though. Yeah, well, well, they definitely, what's it called? Um, They definitely. Um, it's a music. It's a music. Yeah, now it's more music based. site now. Yeah, but it used to be different, bro. Like, it used to not be like this, but let's see what's up. Let's see. If I if I can sign in in here, I will show you at least what I posted before. Um, Dude, I think MySpace bought it because it says sign in with Facebook? Question mark. No. The fuck out of here. Oh, my God. I want to say it was this. Nope. Okay. Here, what if I can just... Can't believe I'm trying to figure out what my uh, MySpace password was. Please. No. Shit, man, this is oh, this is gonna be so hard. Nope, I can't remember my MySpace password. That's okay. Maybe by the by the uh, next uh, podcast, we'll we'll have that ready or something. Yeah. Dude, I have so many tabs on my on my computer open. Fuck. Yeah, let's I see if I can just reset my password. The shit. Um, Anna Enterprises. Oh my god. Let me see if I can remember my what's it called? Hotmail now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you a hotmail person? I used to be a hotmail person, yes. What are what are you now? Gmail? Obviously, right? Yeah. I, I feel a, like it's fucking. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what my what my hotmail was? This was the What's one. Your I, this is what I would use for the MSN chat rooms. What uh, What was your account name? You know, I used to go to Taekwondo and stuff, right? Back then, when I was a kid. <laughs> no, did yeah. you really? It was a uh, Carreteca del Valle. <laughs> Carreteca del Valle. Whatever. Yeah, my tío was like, <laughs> "Yeah, that'd be really cool." And I'm like, "Okay," and I put Carreteca Bro, del get, Valle. Did you ever get a belt? Hell yeah, I went up to um Orange Black Belt. No, Orange Advance and I got pulled out and my mom was like, Yeah, I don't like the place we're going to, so What what's orange? It's white, yellow, brown, orange? Yeah, they had orange, orange advance and all that stuff. 
Oh, okay. I don't remember the num the fucking. Yo, that'd be crazy if you said, "Oh, I'm a fucking third degree black belt." Yeah. I've been like, "Shrills," I'd fucking believe you and shit. You probably wouldn't want to mess with you. You wouldn't want to mess with me, bro. No, I still I, remember I, some things. Okay. I wouldn't even fucking look you in the eyes. I'd be fucking shit scared. Yeah, I cannot open my account, so I would probably like. I probably need Next to really time. do. Yeah. Yeah, next time, or it's possibly that I'm not gonna remember my password to this, but yes, if I do, if I can have, if I can find some access to my old MySpace, I will uh, talk about it in the next podcast. But th- that would be really something to really like, or, or unless Br- Luis and I want to go back into our like Facebooks and go back to the first year we had it, just look at all the shit we used to post. <laughs> Were you one of those um, like and all admit people? Um, yeah, when I was bored, but nobody would like it. Okay, yeah. so you were you were the scum. Yeah, I was the scum of Facebook. You were the scum that did that shit. Yeah, it's okay. It's I mean, when Teen- you were a kid, it's fine. Yeah, teenager was like, something, right? When people do, there's still people that still oh, do yeah. that shit. Yeah, and it, it's like, oh my god, like really? Like, like not to take offense, right? Like it's fine, but but it's yeah. like on Facebook specifically. Yeah. If you still do that shit, that's fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I still see it being done in a way on Twitter and it kind of like, oh, wow, guys. Like, yeah. Like, Eric's done it before. I'm like, like, go oh, like, like this and I'll say something about you. I'm like, dude, come on. This is cringy but as shit. That's, but that's different. That's because Eric's on Twitter and he's Twitter famous. Or whatever. I don't know, man. It's it's just cringy. I guess I'm, I guess we're just old like that, I guess. No, no. I, I think it's just weird on Facebook. I but think like, it's weird on all this another... stuff, man. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Look, I'll have an update for you guys if I can get access to my old MySpace account. And I'll show you. And I'll see if I have anything still left on there. But chances are that my account got deleted because I haven't used it in a long ass time. But, yeah. want to thank you all so much for listening to this episode. I want you to go ahead and leave a five-star review on your podcast app of choice. I checked iTunes. There's nothing there. I'm telling you guys, you can get a nice self-promotion. I can get promote you. So you would just write the review on iTunes. If you leave a five star, put your social media handle in the review itself. Say it's it's at uh, Luis looks really good in scrubs ninety seven on Twitter, and I will say go follow Lu- it's Luis Luis looks really good in scrubs ninety seven on Twitter. It's that easy. You get some promotion, guys, and um, yeah, go do that, and I will uh, read it for you. I check I check the the um, the iTunes page every day before we go live, so. It's like it's not like I'm gonna forget. So, um, go ahead and follow us on Twitter at the Nerdcore underscore Instagram at the Nerdcore. Also, uh, Facebook page like and follow it at the Nerdcore Pods. I want to thank all our Patreon supporters. You guys are doing wonderful things for us here. Can never really say how thankful I am, especially to our executive producer Grayson Barker ninety eight on Instagram order him at ninety eight. Thank you, Grayson. You're awesome, bro. So go follow what what I just said for Grayson's uh tw- Twitter and Instagram. If you want to get a shout out like that, all you need to do is go to www.patreon.com forward slash the nerd core and pledge to the $15 Patron tier. We have the pins already, so you're going to get something if you pledge. And then we have uh, stickers coming in soon. So um, those should be here by next week, I want to say. Yes, next week. And you'll have some stickers to get in too. So, um, and then you get also a postcard every month from us here at the nerd core uh, team. But... Uh, a lot of good stuff is going on. Um, just, you know, right in this wave because it's just really fun doing these things and it's just a nice time having been on here with y'all. So um, to my to my host, Luis, um, it's always nice talking to you, buddy. You want to say something in your deep voice? Um, shout out to my mom. Yeah, shout out to my mom too, bro. Shout, out to, shout out to my mom and dad, bro. Dude, shout out to... Shout out to my priest, dude. Dude, that's shout like, out to everybody's moms, bro. Moms make the world go round, bro. Like, you know. Yo, for real, dude? That's true. Yeah, I, that's true. I hope after you listen to this podcast and you have your mother in your life, you go kiss her in the forehead and you tell her, I love you, everything you've done for my life. You know, if you had yeah. a bad, if you have an absent mother and you had a bad mother, don't worry. Go to your motherly figure and kiss him in the head and say, thank you for everything you've done with life. Shout out to all the moms. Shout out to all the dads. Shout out to all these motherfuckers out here trying to make a good life. I love you all. Good night. And I'll see you on the next episode. Let's get this bread.